iPhone 5S iOS 10.3 Beta 6 review coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys? Nick here from Everything Tech and iOS 10.3 Beta 6 has been released for the iPhones and iPads, and today we're going to look at the iPhone 5S iOS 10.3 Beta 6. So Apple didn't really make any visual changes here to iOS 10.3, so the 5S and other iPhones should be getting the official 10.3 here very shortly, and I would expect it to come before April. Let's go into the settings, and you can see if I go to software update, as I showed you earlier, we are now on iOS 10.3 beta. So if you guys wanna know how to install the beta onto an iPhone 5S, or any iPhone for that matter, let me know down below in the comments. I will try to make those videos for you here. But what comes with this, you know, iOS 10.3 beta 6? Well, pretty much what you're gonna see on the official version. You're gonna get the new Apple file system. So if you are gonna go ahead and update your iPhone 5S or any iPhone for that matter, you're gonna wanna go ahead and make sure that you do a backup because it's critical if you do not wanna lose your photos and other critical files that are within the operating system. Another new feature that comes with iOS 10.3 is the Find My AirPods feature. So if you do have the AirPods you know, for your iPhones, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and check out that new feature, Find My AirPods. So another thing you're also gonna get is if we go into the App Store here, developers now have the ability, so if we go into an application here on the iPhone, iPhone 5s here if we go into the application developers now have the ability to respond to customer reviews right inside of the application here so you don't see many yet because it's still a new feature but they will have the ability to respond to you here in the application itself also there's a new API that's going to limit the amount of you know review questions so they can't ask you as many times can you please submit a review can you please submit a review so Apple is going to be limiting that so you're not getting bombarded with that question all the time about submitting a review here for your iPhone 5s another thing that comes to the 5s is widgets for podcasts so if we go over here and we go into edit you're gonna see down here if I go down the podcast if I can find it let me go down here, podcast. You can see now we do have a similar widget to the music app for podcasts. So you can see there's no recently played podcast there, but we do have that included here with an iOS 10.3 beta 6. Now, in terms of the performance, I've noticed that the performance is actually quite snappy here on beta 6. I'm actually better than 10.2 for the 5S. So guys, look forward to this one because this is gonna be a nice update for your iPhone 5S in terms of speed. So taking a closer look at the applications, you can see there's also a new animation. It's very slight, but there's a new animation in terms of the way the applications open. And you can see there's YouTube, but the iPhone 5S has been performing quite well here on iOS 10.3 beta, as you can see. For being such an old phone, I'm actually pretty happy with the performance, and I'm seeing a nice increase in terms of its overall consistency over 10.2 Point one, you can see things are just flying open here for the iPhone 5S. Not, still not the quickest phone in the world, but it is a pretty great phone here nonetheless. You can see there goes Temple Run right there, and boom. So overall performance has been pretty slick here on the 5S iOS 10.3 beta. And what else should we talk about? Well, Weather Data and Maps now has 3D Touch functionality. So the main question you might be asking is, should I put iOS 10.3 beta? Should I install the beta 6 on my iPhone 5S? And I would advise against it. I still think you should wait until the official 10.3 drops for the Apple iPhones because, you know, if this is your main device here, the 5S, we don't want to have any issues with these beta additions, you know, crashing on your iPhone 5S when you're trying to get stuff done. So I would advise that you don't do it until the 10.3 official drops, but that's just my take. It does run pretty snappy. I don't think you're going to have an issue if you do decide to do it, but just to be on the safe side, if it's your main primary device, don't install it just yet. The official should be right around the corner. Corner. but if you really want to try it out go ahead and try it out it is pretty stable here for the iPhone 5s and I'm guessing it's pretty stable on the other ones I think this might be the last beta until they go ahead and drop the final release here so like we say iOS 10.3 beta 6 pretty smooth here on iPhone 5s I'm not seeing too many glitches or hangs or anything like that you can see performing quite well 
no hangs here on the multitasking. Let's see if we can catch anything up there. Nothing on the control center. Looks great. Nice and smooth there. Nice and smooth there. Let's see if I can catch any glitches here. None there. Let's go ahead and lock the screen. Unlock it. Let's lock it again. Lock it again. Nothing there and smooth. Let's go into a couple more applications just for checking sake. And we could see. Let's go here. Went all the way back home. Let's go here. Also, you do get a couple of iCloud improvements as well here and stronger encryption to iOS 10.3 beta 6. So that's pretty much all you're going to expect here for 10.3 beta 6. It's not a huge visual change over 10.2.1, but there's a lot of internal changes that should make the overall experience and performance better on your iPhone 5S for iOS 10.3. Guys, if you guys want to see more, you know, 10.3 coverage is coming to the channel when the official drops, we will be doing versus comparisons and things like that as well as talking more about 10.3 on the iPhones that I do have here on the channel the iPhone 6 the iPhone 5s 5 7 plus and the like we will be reviewing those guys on 10.3 so subscribe for that this is Nick here helping to master your technology be sure to be well I will catch you all in the next one and peace